So before we start the pipe work, we will first start by installing the switch boxes. Note that I have used these pipes as well as the patrices for demonstration only. Otherwise, pipes go with switch boxes. Now, this is a very important procedure in pipe work. Here, you use a bending spring and you place it inside a conduit. And you bend at that particular point where you are interested in and you get your perfect bend. After that, you can cut the conduit. Kindly hit the like button if you are getting value in these videos. This is an important part whereby the shower head will get its source of electricity from. At that circular, it's where the wires will come from the double pole switch. Using my, my hand, I can mark. And then there we have the bending spring. We can see it is still outside. So you just mark here and then you mark where you are supposed to bend. So when inserting the spring, you ensure that it gets to there. So that when you bend there, you are perfect and sure. So now I will have to hold it uh, on this part here with my hand. So I will hold it like that and then leverage this thumb here and easily bend it. That's as easy. So there we have, we have a very perfect bend. And I can remove my bending spring. It's a very flexible spring. That is how it bends the pipes. Or basically it bends the conduits. So now I can have it like that. Coming from the consumer. So my bend will be at this particular point. Going straight downward. Just as this one because it's a flat surface. So we do it again with our bending spring. So again, I will have to place it on top. And then as you can see, it is just getting to this level. So there's no need of using this wire. I'll just place it directly inside until it gets to that point. That is when I bend it, I'll be so sure that, that the spring is there. So I go direct. Then again, I will use my hand here to lock that bending spring so that it does not move when I'm bending. And then I will leverage my thumb and just bend it like that all the way downward. Just to extend a little bit to ensure that it gives me a perfect bend that I want. And there you have it. Unfortunately, I've made a mistake there and our pipe is longer than what is supposed to. So from the consumer unit to that DP batteries, it is not supposed to be that way. After cutting it, I now bring a coupler. A coupler looks like that. So it's basically joining the two pipes. There you go. And the other one comes in here. That being done, we now do the pipe work for the sockets. I'm making use of the pipe that remained from the light and also the shower head installation. So I will not have to waste it. I can use it somewhere and you remember where we indicated the use of a coupler I will also be making good use of a coupler in this case so that I can minimize losses assuming you are working for a client 
Now, this is the best way to do it. You can minimize the losses. Instead of doing away with this entire pipe, uh, because it's a piece, you can leverage on the couplers because couplers are not as expensive as compared to the pipe. And that is how you save your client. So you use all the pipes, the pieces where you can apply them until you're remaining with very small negligible pieces so that you can save your clients the pain of spending more on the materials uh, that he is using in that construction site. And when you do that, the client will definitely uh, always call you back for more work using a spirit level. Now this is multiple bending whereby I have to introduce another bend within a very short a distance. So sometimes it gets hard using just the hands and use the knee. It happens. <laughs> Don't know whether you have ever experienced so, but if you have never, you will definitely do. It's just another way of being innovative, isn't it? Again, remember this is for the demonstration. If it's passing inside a wall, there is no need for all these. You just use the steel lace. The wall will have to be cut or chest, and then you will use the steel nails to ensure that they are well fitted in the wall, and then the conduits will be plastered. At this point, you can introduce a saddle here to ensure that our coupler is well placed. How is my pipe work coming along? Let me know in the comment section. So there you have it. So this is the basic pipework for what I assume to be a bed sitter or a single room whereby you will only require a basic installation. Now in the next video, we'll be wiring this type of installation. It is very important to take note of the size of the wires that we'll be using in various circuits that we have set. For the lighting, for the instant shower head, those are two different wires, as well as for the sockets are completely different. Subscribe to my channel and watch the entire installation. See you then.